Welcome back guys, another camp out, a bit wet this one, so I'm sitting in here, I've just put the rooftop tent up, I'm just uh, waiting for the rain to subside, so the tent's up, and I'm just come in here for, just for a bit of a dry off and uh, talk to you guys, so a bit of a contrast from the last one, but hopefully it will clear up, I think tomorrow's meant to be a bit more promising, so yeah it's great fun. And I'll test the rooftop tent out as well in these conditions. It's never been out in the uh, in the real rain. It's so lovely and cosy in here, looking out at the rain. It's really uh, leafed up since since the last time I come up here. So it's looking really, really nice. And I bet the water butts are uh, overflowing now with all this water. Buster's out in it, he loves it. I'll draw him off later. So we can get a fire going. There's no stopping him. So this overhang on the Land Rover is awesome. And what with the, the touring section as well. You know, it's raining quite hard and there's just access in and out of there without getting wet. Brilliant design. Obviously, back of the Land Rover. You get all my bits and pieces out. And I'm under cover, so great decision having it off the back. Really pleased with that now it's raining. It's a bit, uh, a bit damp. I'm glad I got this up. And tomorrow I'm going to put the uh, the wraparound awning on. Give that a try. What do you reckon of this then, boy? Dogs don't care, do they? Look at that. Love it. He's a real outdoor machine. Getting some firewood, boy. This is great under here. Any of you guys thinking about getting one, definitely have it off the back. Because that is awesome. All your gear is not lovely and dry in there. I might just stay under here tonight and uh, retire to the rooftop tent with me book. So I decided to cook under the Land Rover guys, use the gas, it's just a bit wet to be out there so thought I'd utilise what I've got in here, just going to have a couple of chicken tikka pies, which are my favourite, and a tin of beans, I was going to do a jacket potato but probably leave that for another night, but no, it's nice and cosy under here.
So I'm going to retire now guys in the rooftop tent. It's still raining a little bit but it's not as bad. So I've had a great evening. Just going to chill out here for a couple of hours, going to read my book. And that'll be me done I think. So it's been raining constantly for about two hours now. I've just finished my book. And the tent is totally waterproof. So it's been really put through its paces. So I'm really happy with it. It's lovely and cosy in there. You can't beat being in the tent when it's raining. So I've got my lovely down pillow. Uh, down uh, quilt, should I say. And me pillow. So I'm just going to lie here now and nod off to the sound of raindrops. Good night, guys. Morning, guys. Got the kettle on. <coughs> it's a real misty one. But it was so nice up there last night. Just dozed off as you saw. And I think it rained till about 12 and then stopped. But hopefully that sun's going to break through. I'm going to get that fire going today. Dry a few things off. But no, it's done in the morning and it's dry. So I'm going to get that coffee on guys. And uh, that'll wake me up nicely. So I've set the annex up now guys, around the Land Rover. I've done it once before but I never put the ground sheet in. I've just got to peg the bottom in. So it's looking really good. Just got to sort that, sort that out there. Come in guys. So the ground sheet's in, so it's completely sealed in here.
a nice fly screen windows fly mesh so you're completely undercover now even when you get even the ladder is undercover so this will be ideal when we go to Scotland if the weather turns nasty you can just hunker down oh, I do like this now it's really nice I just got to peg the, uh, the outside and then it should be nice so if any of you guys are interested this whole setup is from Tough Trek I'm not sponsored by them I just bought their products I thought it was reasonably priced and good quality so that looks pretty good once that's pegged in pulled a bit tighter it's gonna look nice I've just got a pin so I have to take the bar out of there so I've got to just pin that in and then she's finished and then you've got the full storm uh, section to come down over the fly screens and you have the fly screens unzip as well so just have a clear panel oh I won't want to go home guys I think uh, this is bushwhackers coming up soon then uh, Becky I'm just drying the rest of uh, Buster's bedding out. It's lovely and warm now, so I've had it around the fire and now I'm just giving it a bit of an airing. So that fire's going since early hours this morning when you see me light it. It's just ticking away nicely. see your top, that's nice, does it say? Cup fire. The best friends. The best friends. Oh, like that's what it. you need. Nothing on the back. Very nice. Nice colour. <laughs> Sweet, so did not it? Me. Yeah, it's nice there. Huh? <laughs> we sleep it in the tent. So yeah, Dee Dee Because we've got no cordage. Oh, it's no string to hang it. There is on somewhere. Oh, there. Okay. Very nice, Mrs. Bushwhacker. Don't fire an arrow at it. It won't collapse, will it? So I'm going to do some nice uh, burgers this evening, throw off a bit of bacon and a bit of onion and some mushrooms, I'm going to put an egg in there so we have a mighty burger, oh yeah. So Angie's got one of my bushwhacker burgers, what do you reckon there Angie? Nice. No egg in yours, me and Becky got eggs in ours. So that's burger, onions, bacon, mushrooms, egg, cheese <laughs> and relish. Big boy burgers. <laughs> Cheers guys, we got the added egg. So we're pigs.
sadly the camp out has come to an end. So we're all packed up, everything's on board. Had a great time, haven't we, Bex? Mm. It's been really good. Really nice and finished on sunshine. Started in the rain, finished on a glorious day. So thanks for joining us, guys. Me and Becky, Girl Outdoors, and Mrs. Bushwhacker and Buster. And we'll all see you on the next one. Enjoy the great outdoors, guys. Bye.